it was not until 1946 that African Americans could be commissioned in the Marine Corps. Since then, they have accomplished many firsts, which have been memorialized on one of the walls of the Pentagon. On this day, top Navy and Marine Corps officials met at the Pentagon to unveil the Tribute to African American Leadership display wall. The tribute is for the eight Marines and three women known as the Pathbreakers. The group is composed of the first African American to lead troops in combat, the first pilot, and the first female to be promoted a colonel, all of whom paved the way for others. This is a, a sign of the times of changing here, really, because a wall like this wouldn't have gone up when I joined the Marine Corps. First of all, the, the bases weren't here. That's the first thing. When I joined, the senior uh, African American officers were two black lieutenant colonels. So I joined the Marine Corps in 1969. Secretary of the Navy Ray Mabus spoke highly of their accomplishments. The pathbreakers fully embraced the warrior ethos that is the Marine Corps and then exceeded the standards with great professionalism, great dedication. Colonel Gilda Jackson is a pathbreaker. She became the first African-American female promoted to colonel in 1997. Well, we talk about memorials, and we also talk about remembering those that have done things before us. Now, I don't consider myself a, a trailblazer or anything like that, but I came here today to be able to meet those people that provided me that, that spark of hope and inspiration that led me to where I was and where I am today. Colonel Jackson rose from the rank of private to colonel over her 30-year career, showing that the barriers have indeed been broken for African Americans. From Washington, I'm Corporal Michael Krasinski.